Another edition of Grok Talk, brought to you by New Hampshire's leading conservative blog site, GraniteGrok.com. We are your feared extremist, right-wing, hard-charging, gun-toting, opinionated, outspoken, rabble-rousing, letter-writing, radio, microphone-stomping, conservatives, and rational libertarians. So get ready for more news and opinion you could only get from GraniteGrok.com. Grok Talk. I kind of like it when I walk into a, a Friday and I only have two guests booked and before the show's over all the segments are filled <laughs> that's the best uh welcome back to grok talk i'm steve mcdonald here with max abramson skip murphy on my left michael way at the end of the table down there mr rogers eating his apple and uh, on the phone we have kevin bloom good morning kevin good morning steve how you doing just great i'm down at the gun show and conquered at the everett arena right now which is going to be going on today and tomorrow so i'm sure many of your listeners are already here. <laughs> Some of them probably are, yes. And there is so much going on this weekend. They're all com- there's things competing for their attention all weekend long. All right, so uh, we wanted to uh, – I'm part of this Facebook IM thing and talking about SP30, and, and, and I'll be sitting there I'm next to my laptop, and I'll start hearing my phone go ping, ping, ping as, as messages start pouring in. Um, you sent me some information. I didn't have time to go over it, so let's let's talk about that. Okay. Um, well, we're, I don't know how, much, how far you've gotten with, um, with Max. or if you We haven't about touched it, it yet. We haven't had a chance. Oh, so. good. It's like virgin turf. But Max well, is sitting um, right next to me. So. Yeah, and SB30, hi, Max. Um, how are you doing? It's coming up on Tuesday for a hearing, and it's going to be in Reps Hall at 1 o'clock. And the uh, local paper up north is promoting it heavily. And they're asking all their supporters to show up and uh, demand that the state finance this project. And so we need people, your listeners, to show up and say, no, you shouldn't steal money from me for this boondoggle. And if it's worth doing, it's worth doing by the private sector. Uh, There's now Republicans have said for some time that it's not really fair to steal money from the rich and give it to the poor. But uh, it's a pretty tough angle to argue you should steal from the poor and give to one rich guy. Now have you read the? Uh, now have you read the uh, amended version? The amended version I is very sure different. Have. Uh, I indeed have read the the latest amendment that I have, that specifically sets out. And this bill has gone through so many different changes, even in the Senate when it came out. It was originally set up as a study committee. So oh well, let's not worry about that. Then the last second on the floor, um, the Senator Forrester put in a floor amendment that said, oh, we're going to give the county the authority to tax any uh, set up tax district in any unincorporated areas. So if you're not in a city then and you're wondering about how uh, your taxes are going to be figured out, that's going to be done by your county, which previously the counties have not had an awful lot to do with uh, pretty much anything. Which is so a good you might thing. not like that. But mm-hmm. now that one got, uh, they sent it to the House that way, and of course it had, there was no public hearing on the floor amendment. And then it went to the House, and then they decided oh, we're going to change it, and we'll make it do everything we want it to do, because the floor amendment basically just said that. It said that counties can set up and tax unincorporated areas. Now, then it it moved on to the House, and they said, well, we're going to make it, we're going to move it out of the committee. They vacated it uh, last week in session and moved it to the Finance Committee. And that sort of makes sense, because in a way, they're, they're basically saying that we're putting the full faith and credit of the taxpayers of New Hampshire behind this thing. And you're on the hook for $28 million. And they're not even going to, first of all, they're not going to let you stay free there for that. At the Balsams, and this we are talking about the Balsams bailout. You're not going to get any free nights just because you help pay for it. And they're not even going to take you out for dinner. Oh, or, oh. or give you a little kiss first, you know. It's, the, it's straight to the, let's, uh, we're going to rob you. So, not even a hot dog. No, and there's a lot of things about, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take 15,000 gallons of water a day out of the river, and we're going to... Uh, there are many, many objections to this, and I'm just <laughs> to summarize them. Well, it's, I was thinking we could go to the Constitution and say, well, you know, the New Hampshire Constitution says that it's set up for the people of New Hampshire and not for any one man or any uh, collection or family of people. You know, that, and it does say that, so yeah. It's Isn't that a clear violation. 10? 
Then we could go to the Word of God and say, Thou shalt not steal. And I think that one <laughs> fits right in. And we could have put that one first, but it doesn't really matter, because uh, I think that there are, some of the legislators will ignore both of those things. And let's move straight into it's a dumb idea. <laughs> uh, the reason that this the, the place is vacant goes way back. Many years there is a, has been a lawsuit that said essentially that the, the owners sold it to somebody who made no down payment at all. It was a secret deal, and I think you have some of that stuff. I am not in front of it. I'm sitting out on a rock uh, next to the river at this point in time. But you probably have the details of the lawsuit there if you're in front of you. And that alleged that this deal was put through the connivance of the attorney general at the time, I believe it was 2012, and that was done at Thanksgiving. And it, had, there was, it was done in secret. If anybody had been allowed to take a look at this, they would have said, this is not. I mean, how do you buy a supposed uh, property that's supposed to, be, supposed to be worth $140, $150 million, and you do it with no money down? That's a pretty good deal um, <laughs> to pull off, and you have to be pretty well connected. Now, to, to add insult to injury, not only are we <laughs> going to approve this, but then we're going to ask the New Hampshire taxpayers to pay for it. How much worse can we get? And if you look at the character of the people that are doing this, that are, uh, are on the benefits field, just Google them. You don't have to take my word for any of this. Google them, and you can see what that maybe you would decide to loan this guy 100 bucks. I don't think I would. <laughs> well, t- and I you- just want every people to make their own decisions. Yeah, and oh, those okay. names. And, yeah. and, 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 by, and by, the, by the way, uh, this place supposedly has a toxic uh, latex refuse uh, waste, waste dump in one corner. Uh, oh, really? and, and and the town doesn't want them to sever that from the property in case it becomes a permanently abandoned waste dump. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, well, and, and, the story gets better uh, and better. Uh, it, and that's compromising <laughs> their ability to raise money. Um, our uh, bulldog reporter, Kimberly, is all over this. In fact, she's finding so much stuff, she's barely begun to publish because there's so much more research to do. Exactly. There's... It gets the more you peel this onion, <laughs> the more your it eyes like water. The more layers you get. Yeah, the more you're, you right. You start to cry, and, 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 and it's you start crying right away. And, and it's the taxpayers' eyes that will water. And as you say, you don't even get a free night or a free bag of chips when you go to visit. Right. Yep. And another commentator who lives in the area said this: the reason for the one of the other reasons uh, that it, it's, it's deserted. It's hard to get to, and he, he was saying. If you to get there, you have to fly into the Berlin Airport, and then it's a uh, it's a sixty minute drive from the airport, and most people can't make it to the the small airport there. So it's a three mile uh, three hour drive through two lane roads with a lot of frost teams. It's not like this place is easy to get to. So this is Skip Kevin. So this less Otten just to uh, it is Otten, right? I believe so, but I'm, then again, I'm, I'm not sitting in front of them. Yeah, we got to get the names up again. So, as Kevin said, Google these guys. Mm-hmm. Um, you brought up the, uh, the 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 article in the New Hampshire Constitution shall not be for a single person, and yet that's exactly what SB thirty is supposed to be doing. And yes. Against the backdrop of, wow, we need jobs up there. We need jobs up there. Mm-hmm. Has anybody told these chuckleheads in the legislature that are pushing this bill to give taxpayer money to this absolutely, you know, pump and dump kind of guy, uh, or so it seems, um, to oh, not give one guy a job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for how long? The the has anybody pointed out that this would be unconstitutional and that they're going to be subject to a lawsuit if somebody really who has a few bucks to to throw around actually brings suit? I think that, that uh, well, you, Skip, you and I have been to the legislature many times, and when did you ever go up there and make any constitutional argument that had got any traction or cut any ice whatsoever? I'm going to say never in my years that I've been there. That's just not one that goes along. It's like, let's spend somebody else's money. That one flies. I was hoping, you know, yeah. don't, don't, you know, don't burst my bubble so quickly. You know, I can't well, hope for hope. <laughs> we're going to sue is slightly more effective, I think. It and I hope, would hope somebody would. I, I've been kind of disappointed in a lot of the, uh, uh, there have been a lot of opportunities to, to file suit over quite an awful lot of bills that have passed the legislature or, or failed to pass to correct injustices. So, uh, it depends. I think, um, 
I do have a really good lawyer now, so who is interested in doing pursuing this, mm-hmm. and at rock bottom rate. So we'll have to talk about that later. All right. Well, that's cool. So Tuesday at one p.m. Reps Hall, correct? Yes. Okay, and um, you know, bring your bring. You can bring your constitutional arguments if you want, but what uh, was the, bring, and bring popcorn because it'll was, be fun. What was the fifteen million dollar? Uh, bailout. It was a fifteen million dollar subsidy or loan guarantee for a for some type of travel service that uh, the the state was on the hook for. That the business went under. It was this wasn't e- wasn't even very long ago. The state gave a fifteen million dollar loan guarantee to this little travel service. Well, that's so you can buy your own jet and get out of the country with uh, as much of the rest of the money as you can carry. I would think. Uh-huh. Lovely. I'm gonna buy my own cruise liner for that. Uh huh. You know they should just give them our GGI money. I mean, we use it for everything else. I've well, suggested. Why don't they give us twenty eight million? Because I, I think if they did that I, for I everybody, could, wouldn't that balance out? We would be much more effective at using that money than anybody else they could give it to. I think. You know, for uh, twenty six million dollars, we could get back the twenty six million dollars in federal funds that we left on the table with the last budget. I'd rather do that. <laughs> at least get twenty six million dollars back. We could promise to waste it all on uh, on loose living. <laughs> Fuckers for Hillary. We'll stimulate the economy. Think how many jobs that would put the economy, huh? Yeah. We could just do the town and bar crawl, and we'd, we could use that up in a certain period of time. I, I, know, there's a, I know a lot of micro businesses would be very happy for you to do a town and bar crawl, too. And that, that's really stimulating jobs. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, Kevin, here's a quote uh, for you as far as your remark about did, did you ever know of anybody up on the state house uh, following the Constitution? This is from New Hampshire State Representative Sandra Keynes. I don't try to justify anything by the Constitution. It's not my job, and I don't want to do it. New Hampshire State Representative Deborah D. Simone, the Constitution is a guideline. Wow. Yeah. Um, I didn't mention to uh, Okay, I haven't. Uh, maybe I wasn't. As it was in the Soviet Union. Mm-hmm. There mm-hmm. are some reps, and I wasn't saying that no reps follow the Constitution. I'm, I have never seen... In, uh, I've never heard it uh, an argument fly that a bill didn't pass or was passed because this is of the constitutional argument. But I do want to say that there are many very good reps that really do follow the Constitution. And I want to say I, I can't even think of them all, but there are uh, I'm I'm thinking at least 120 or so in the in the House. So that's that's good. And I don't mean to impugn. Oh, no, I, I think the context in which you said it was very clear. It had to do with people using that argument in the context of a hearing and was right. that influential in its outcome. Uh, I, I don't have any doubt that our listeners understood that, but it's always good to clarify because, you know, there's people out there who are listening who might, you know, cherry pick that comment for their own uh, best interests. And uh, that's what, how that's how it works. Well, like, like the guy that got right in Chris Christie's face yesterday? Yeah, yeah. That was a great <laughs> picture, by the way. Yeah. Oh, look, the tracker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Matt, Matt Mowers read the Granite Grot, he would know a tricky tracker troll from American Bridge when he found one. Have you seen the picture of Jeb Bush standing right next to Jasper? No. I don't know why Jasper's going to meeting all these Republican candidates. He's just, you know, he had the I'm picture with Marco you. Rubio, and <laughs> the meme said, he wants Marco, we hardly knew ye. Well, you, you know, there's, oh, a, th- there, there's, a, there's a thing. If, if anybody's got that picture of uh, Jeb Bush next to uh, next to Jasper, uh, we can put the little rhyme from Jungle Book on Maybe it's a it. Forrest Gump thing. You know, he just shows you up in these pictures with all these famous people. I want to be like you, who, who. <laughs> uh, and if anybody, any of Rand Paul's uh, staff or bodyguards are listening to this, please keep Jasper away from Ron Paul. Thank you. Uh, or Rand Paul. Either one. That's just inappropriate and let's not happen. All right, Kevin, we're all done with you. You're done with us. You can go back to your gun show, get off your rock. And, uh, All right. and and enjoy the view you've got. Wait, what? Just quick, quick. Are you selling or just browsing? Uh, I actually um, am buying. So, yeah, I was just browsing, and I finally had to get something. So. <laughs> it's hard to browse and not buy. All right, Kevin, thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. We'll see you. All right, we'll be right back in a couple of minutes. We'll take a quick break, and we will close up the show. Hi, this is Rich Gerard, host of Dread at Large in the Morning. The Manchester area's only locally owned, locally operated, focused, and interested, riveting radio show heard live every Monday through Friday from 6 to 9 on 90.7 FM WLMW, New Hampshire Family Radio, and available 24-7 live or archived at GerardAtLarge.com. Be sure to tune in. 
This is the Coalition of New Hampshire Taxpayers. We're located at 8 North Main in Concord, New Hampshire. This is the repository for all things conservative and municipal. So if you have a problem in your town, your school, your budget committee, the right to know law, and now the top of our list is voter fraud. you have a tip for us, some information for us, you want to join or help us out, cnht.org. TV.